between you know and then we're gonna wait 10 more seconds we're gonna do the same thing call the thread and then single solo and then have the entity gasp um, and then the scene he'll be doing is called something new something underscore new you could call these scenes what well, these scenes whatever you want them they're just for reference because later on after we d we did these two we call this thread well actually I called it before the, these were handled um, we call third I call it thread voices and okay so we have the anim animation name for each AI and the scenes that they're going to be doing but what this this thread that I created voices this tells you exactly what file to play off of the sound aliases file so in this example level script level dot script sound script underscore sound calls it on the guy and this is where we reference the animation name and then the scene on the second uh, brackets and then finally e we put equals to and then the aliases alias name that we're calling off of the sound aliases file so this one will be price and he'll be since he's known as guy2 that's his animation name and that's his scene say this as we called it right here and that's the alias is named something and if we look at our CSV found in our sound aliases that uh, you should have created this file for then um, we're gonna see right here a bunch of stuff and it might seem confusing and whatnot but it really is not this information on top just uh, I got it off the other maps that are already the other CSV that are there and these help you you know as a memory in case you forget what does each of these reference mean so you're gonna have to have a name a sequence a file basically all of these you're gonna have to have named in there but there's only really a few that you're gonna really need so for example in the script we have uh, let's see gas is doing the voice of new the sound okay so the alias is name so it's gonna this is the name and it's gonna be the alias name that you choose to want it to be you're gonna put that and then comma because that's the first section and the sequence we don't have a sequence so we're gonna leave it blank and then we're gonna go to the next section where it says file and then we're gonna go and in my case I already went through the files figured out wh where what folder is in on and then inside that folder if it's another folder and another folder and then finally the path the actual file name with whether it's mp3 or dot way okay and then there's a the um, after that volume minimum volume minimum which is a minimum amount of this should be played so of this file so it'll be 0 0.8 for mine um, maximum could be played as that one a volume mod and um, I have nothing for it and once again if you don't know what these are just read up here but you don't I'm not gonna put a volume mod a pitch minimum I'm not gonna put it a uh, pitch maximum won't need it I won't put it as well I mean and then you have a um, distance minimum so how far away how close to it do you have to be before you could hear it and it's I put it at 250 feet or whatever the units they have right there and then the maximum distance you could be to hear it 5000 okay the channel type I put in as voice there's other channel types there's auto menu weapon item body voice local music the announcer by default is auto so you know I put voice because we know it's a voiceover and then the next section is the type which is you know if we're gonna be streaming this off of the IWD either from the stock or your own and um it's gonna be stream then there's the um, probability probability that if another file gets called another sound file gets called what's the probability of this sound being um, 
stop by that other sound so we're gonna leave it blank because we don't want it to stop and then do we want this sound file to be looping or not so it's either gonna be non-looping or looping and since we're just gonna play it once we're gonna put non-looping then uh, it asks it whether it's a master or slaves and um, it basically means if master this is a master sound you know so we're not gonna bother with that just leave it blank then it asks for a load spec the low spec handles what map maps can play this sound and we only want to play it on our, our map so we're, call, we're calling it only on our map name which is test and then subtitle this is where we do the calling of our subtitle in the sound aliases it asks us if we want a subtitle and this subtitle will stay on the screen for as long as that sound the length of the sound file okay so so you're gonna have to put in between quotes and um, most likely all caps put test or whatever your map name is after you're done with your map name put underscore and then the reference which is speech and if we look we have the reference right here and it says speech and then you have language English and then you're gonna have between the quotes what you wanted to say so it's the reason why I have an up arrow and two is because I'll, all of this will be be played in uh, whatever color that is and then I stopped it here and put I think two is green so this will be in green and then up arrow and seven is white so everything after here will be played in white so it gives that illusion you know. and then the end marker tells it to end all of and whatnot and there's more stuff afterwards which I don't need so I want just after my subtitles happens I'm gonna just put leave them empty so I'm putting one empty and then a comma and then not worry about the rest of the commas or how many are left so I just leave that empty because we're not gonna be calling with it now if you notice on um, something here we have the same things like the same paths and whatnot different folders see this one is US this is UK this is called from the cargo ship this is called from the launch egg and this is the file and then different volume distance maximum this is also boys also stream also non loopy also um, only on the test but I did not call it for a subtitle so the alias whoever is calling something in our script which is Captain Price will not have a subtitle but gas will because we put it in there okay and so that's how you get them to uh, play a sound okay and then through script and uh remember you gotta do three things a few things you know you gotta pre-catch the string you got to give your AIs an animation name so uh, so entity dot anim name and then equals to whatever string you give whatever name then what we'll, then this way could be changed to whatever you want and let's say a trigger you want to wait till the player triggers a trigger before you call the thread of anim single solo on the entity and then the reference name of that scene and then you're gonna have to definitely a must have these which start I forgot to mention when you update your song file you must put localize comma and then the name of your map test in this case and that will include the string the string file found in your raw which should be in your raw English localized string and then you must also include the raw file underscore maps forward slash underscore nm dash gsc that should be in there your sound aliases file should be included in there so it should be sound comma your map name comma your map name again comma all underscore sp that should all be in there okay and um uh, those are just the uh, last things that I forgot to add and uh, make sure you run in developer mode in case you forget to include weapons
Shit! What the hell happened? Charge is set! Get back! Get back!